Before beginning work in a lab, you should familiarize yourself with the lab. Be aware of the locations of all safety equipment and exits in case of an emergency. Your laboratory should be equipped with an eye wash station, a safety shower, a first aid kit, a fire extinguisher, and a fire blanket. It is important to know how and when to use each of these safety features in case of an emergency. The eye wash is composed of two angled spray nozzles and a push plate and or foot plate. In the event that a chemical splashes into your eyes, use the eye wash station promptly. Turn the eye wash on by pushing the push plate or foot plate and move your eyes into the flow of water. Flush the eyes for at least 15 minutes, keeping both eyes open as much as possible using your fingers. Rotate the eyes in all directions to flush out the chemicals thoroughly. See a medical professional after any chemical exposure to your eyes. Note that contacts should never be worn in lab, as they can trap chemicals in the eye and exacerbate potential damage. If your skin is exposed to a hazardous chemical, immediately flush the affected areas with water for at least 15 minutes. If the chemical splashes onto clothing, the safety shower should be used. Quickly move to the shower. Do not remove clothing first. Turn on the shower and then remove all clothing while under the water, including shirt, pants, shoes, socks, and any jewelry and accessories. Stay in the shower for at least 15 minutes. Dry off, redress in uncontaminated clothing, and seek professional medical attention. Every lab should have a stocked and maintained first aid kit. Use the first aid kit to treat small cuts or scrapes after notifying your instructor. It is generally advised and often required that any injury that occurs in the lab receives professional medical attention. For anything other than a very minor injury, seek professional medical attention immediately. In the event of a small contained fire, it is often appropriate to simply kill the fire by cutting off its oxygen source. This can be done by using a glass beaker or other container to cover the flame and suffocate it. Alert your lab instructor of the accident. Medium-sized fires can often be extinguished using a fire extinguisher. The acronym PASS, or PASS, is commonly used when extinguishing a fire. The first step is P. Pull the pin of the extinguisher to allow the trigger of the extinguisher to be pulled. Make sure that you are standing at a safe distance from the fire. The next step is A. Aiming. The nozzle of the extinguisher should be aimed at the base of the fire. Then comes S. Squeeze the trigger or lever to release the extinguishing agent. The last S stands for sweep. The nozzle should be swept from side to side to extinguish the fire. Alert your lab instructor of the accident so proper follow-up procedures can be taken including refilling or replacing the discharged fire extinguisher. For larger, uncontrollable fires, you will need to activate the building's fire alarm. The building should be evacuated immediately, and fume hood sashes as well as the lab's doors should be closed on the way out to limit the possible spread of the fire. Call the necessary personnel, including 911, and your school's respective EHS. Do not re-enter the building until authorized to do so. Fire blankets are used to suffocate moderate fires on people, typically when a person's clothing has caught fire. First, retrieve the fire blanket from its holder. Then, wrap the blanket around the person to smother the fire by cutting off access to oxygen. Once the fire is extinguished, seek professional medical attention. Summation. Know the locations of all of the safety equipment and exits in case of an emergency. Prompt action should be taken in the event of exposure to hazardous chemicals. 
The affected area or areas should be flushed immediately for at least 15 minutes. Use a first aid kit to treat small injuries that occur in lab. Seek medical attention for all injuries incurred in lab. For small controlled fires, a glass beaker can be used to suffocate the flames. For medium fires, a fire extinguisher should be used along with the acronym PASS. For larger fires, the fire alarm should be activated and the building evacuated immediately. Fume hood sashes and lab doors should be closed on the way out. Fire blankets should be used to suffocate moderate fires on people. If any of these accidents and mishaps occur, Notify the lab instructor and necessary personnel.